Hello, welcome to the Dove Sound and Power Day Sessions. It's a different live stream to the, today. I will uh, have, uh, I will be live uh, later in the day, in the night, because it's an important event that we will have tonight, the the Dwarf Planet series, and also the M91 Galaxy. It's a huge challenge because it's a bit cloudy and the moon is 90 percent percent uh, with brightness, but that will be later. This live stream it's a different one, it will be shorter and it's to show you, I decided to not to mix, I was going to show you later in the tonight live stream, but I decided not to mix because it's an important one and I will be um, suffering and, and struggling to, to capture probably, to capture the, the conjunction of the dwarf planet and the galaxy. So I decided to do it right now because I will I will do it anyway. This I didn't test yet this telescope, and basically, this is a new telescope, a refractor. You are wondering why uh, in the Dobson and Power channel I got a refractor, but I will explain you why. I will show you the telescope. I will touch it for almost for the the first time with you. I will do some things and I will show you what I want to do with it and why I got it from, of course, my sponsor, Astroart Finland. And it was me that asked him uh, to send me this telescope and he has agreed. And uh, I will tell you why I chose, I chose specifically, why I chose specifically this telescope and not other telescope type and not other refractor type let's see uh, i will try for the first time one of my intentions with this is to use it with a 12 with a 6 inch virtuoso base this base here so i will benefit from having a virtuoso and having an advantage to it using uh, only a refractor without an equatorial mount. That's the goal. The goal is not to do astrophotography in a higher level because I don't have an equatorial mount. I don't want to have it right now. I just want to capture wider fields objects. We will see in a moment the difference between the different telescopes I have, the Dobsonians, and a refractor is better than an all sky. All sky it's too wide and it can't capture details as a refractor can. And the refractor has a wide field and super wide this in this case and it will be good for uh, as a complement to me. Also, it will be good for beginners, I think, because it's a 400 bucks telescope that if you have already a mount, you don't have the, the need to buy another one, you can use any mount, even it's, if it's altezimut, like this one. And uh, I have to prove I didn't uh, do yet any imaging, I didn't uh, do a, any visual observations with it. I will have to prove you my words, because I really feel that as a refractor is the best refractor for beginners. Although, don't misunderstand me, it's not the best telescope for beginners. The best telescope for beginners is, the, it's, in my opinion, the 6-inch Dobson and Telescope, the Virtuoso that I have right here. This is what I recommend for beginners. I still recommend it, 100%. This one is, if you have a goal or if you prefer wider field of view, large galaxy, large uh, nebulae, not galaxies, large nebulae that can't fit in a, a Neptunian or a Dobsonian because they have a, a larger, a longer focal length, then you have this solution. And if you like refractors, you don't like Dobsonians. It will be weird not to like Dobsonians, but that's it. Hello, Samir, Quasar, enjoying the intro. Sounds a bit for a ED80. It's not a ED80, I will show you in a minute. 
Oh no, not a refractor! <laughs> Tiago, apart from not showing details, live stacking works with the all sky. That's what I have to prove to you. Samir. That will be my challenge. Not tonight, because tonight it's a very important live stream. It's a conjunction of series and the M91 Galaxy. A super rare event and beautiful to watch. A dwarf planet with a, with a galaxy, a beautiful galaxy. With a 12-inch top sun. And that will be tonight. But in uh, future live streams, after I I keep... I get used to the the new refractor i of course i will do loads of videos with it live streams the goal is to do live streams when we want to see for instance the lagoon nebula mm, the rosette nebula um pleiades i don't know veil nebula now the lagoon will be in the summer large large field of view is needed for those nebula if you want to capture it all you remember some of you may remember the last time i did a live stream with a rosette nebula even with the studies on the nexus added to my 12 inch of sun in which mm, increase a bit the, the field of view it couldn't capture all the the rosette nebula of course that's uh, an instrument that i will use for the live streams with you in those circumstances those specific circumstances it's not to replace any dobsonian of course it's not it's obvious there's nothing like a dobsonian telescope and i still thinking like that however the people who thinks that my because i have dobsonian power channel and i'm obsessed and very enthusiastic about dobsonians that doesn't mean i always said that that doesn't mean that i don't like refractors i don't like schmidt cassegrains etc etc I just prefer, and I still believe, truly believe 100%, that the Dobson Telescope, it's the best telescope to buy, to have, to buy or to have. So this is a, a complement to it, like I have the All Sky Lens, the, the All Sky Lens, which I use once in a while, it's a complement to my Dobsonians, it's to have fun with it, it's not expensive, and it come already actually with uh, the camera to 24 from ZWO. This one, no. But, as I know that many people uh, like the refractors, this is a, a cheap refractor, it's a 400 bucks refractor, and um, if you have or if you want to start your um, journey in astronomy, not with a Dobsonian, but with a refractor, this is the solution, I believe, I will have to prove you later, I believe, and I will prove you, that uh, it's the best solution for beginners. So, it's this telescope. The Skywatcher Evo Star 72 ED Apo Double Doublet Refractor Telescope. This is the telescope that I have on my here behind me. So we will try to do live stacking with it. That's my goal. You know that astrophotography, it's not my goal. Well, a quick, a quick astrophotography. Of course, we will do. My goal is to do live stack and watch those large nebulae with you in real time with having this, this tool. However, remember that if I can do that with this telescope, if I can live stack with this telescope and with this inexpensive mount behind me, the altezimut mount of the Virtuos telescope, then anybody can do with almost all the, the mounts in the market. So that's a kind of uh, giving you awareness to the people that like refractors or want to, to buy the first telescope, a refractor, beginners. You will have the proof, if I can do it, you will do it for sure. Besides, I'm, I'm a, a refractor beginner. I have one refractor, but I, it doesn't count. It's a, a power seeker. I have it for, for a long time and it doesn't count. I will show you in a moment. 
Let me check the chat. To Loco. Of course I will do my best. I always do my best with you. The thing is not always I I succeed. You can ask uh, any questions in the chat in all my live streams. Even that it's not the the core of the stream. You can ask anything. I t I I talk with you about everything un unless it's a sensitive matter. Do you auto tracking with your platform? I got mine to work pretty good with PhD and the webcam. I'm dangerous now. Congratulations. No, I don't do auto guiding. I don't do guiding because that's um, an additional feature for the ones that want to increase the knowledge in and the work in astrophotography. As um, some of you know, I just do a quick astrophotography. I get bored uh, post-processing images and I don't like, I don't uh, receive that pleasure uh, from post-processing as I receive from watching the sky in real time. That's what gives me the real pleasure. And in addition to that, sharing that with you, it gives me a boost of permanent dopamine in my brain, like I'm having right now. I, although I don't, I'm not sharing anything, I will share you the stuff, the refractor. So people, as I understand you, you should underst understand me, astrophotographers, in a high level, that uh, I'm not at least until now, and I don't see in the future, I don't know, but I don't see me with much willing to do that because I get bored. And besides, as I'm manipulating images, I don't, I like to, to have the pure image, the closest to reality as possible. And that's my pleasure with it. So that's what you can expect here in this channel connect with the sky. I can talk with you with ev about everything and you can discuss with me. Can you also discuss about solar telescopes such as Lunt and Colorado and Coronado, you should say. Uh, is there a cheaper similar? Well, about solar telescopes, as a side note, I don't have any. I wish I could uh, have maybe in the future because it's I love to watch the flares of the sun. However, I have a very inexpensive way to do it, which was a, a DIY filter, solar filter that I did for my 8-inch Dobsonian, which is the way to go for beginners also. It's safe, it's good, it's excellent, it's not good, it's much better than the most of the filters that you, you see in the market. And it works very well. We will do a live stream with it to watch the sun. But for now, as, as it's so expensive and my goal and my focus right now on the channel is to help the beginners in all aspects, even in solar, and to enter in solar imaging, it's very expensive. I will do that in the future for sure because I, I have that desire. But for now, the priority is the, um, the low level entry, okay? So the low level in solar is what we we will do and I didn't yet so I will do first solar live stream with my 18-inch Dobsonian which is easy for you super easy for you and cheap for you to do at home with your telescope with the 18-inch or uh, other Dobsonian and then in the future we may think about solar imaging the, the tough solar imaging That table top behind you goes over uh, 1500 bucks Canadian dollars and you place the uh, angry emoticons. Look, I don't know your, your uh, Sergio, I don't know your um, knowledge about the prices in the market of uh, astronomy stuff, and especially astrophotography, but uh, this is a, a very, very, very good and inexpensive price for a good pro professional telescope. I think people sometimes want something and they don't know at all the, the prices and they think that to go into astrophotography it's very inexpensive. I try the most and I think I'm doing a great job in giving you 
great, great entrance level to astrophotography, to live stacking, to visual observations with my setups. I don't spend much money on my setups and I have excellent results. Now, if you look for people, if you watch people that have high level of astrophotography and you start, you start uh, uh, making a list of the prices, the cost of the, the, all their gear, you will easily go to $30,000, $20,000, easily, easily, like that. So to tell me that 500 bucks, it's expensive. I'm sorry, but you are in the wrong hobby. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm, I have to be clear and honest with you. You are in the wrong hobby. Yes, yes. No, the live stream tonight, Mazif, will not be yet with a refractor. Just because it would be if it, uh, if it was not for the conjunction. I want to capture that conjunction. I have uh, open a uh, window of opportunity tonight and tomorrow. And tonight is more or less with thin clouds. It's sunny with thin clouds. So I think we can have the chance of watching that rare conjunction. If it wasn't for that, if it was a, a regular live stream uh, night without a specific object in mind, I would use, I would prepare the refractor. Ah, I will prepare the refractor now, but not for tonight, for other night. Maybe tomorrow, I don't know. But uh, the, the first, the goal is the, the series Dwarf Planet and the M91 Galaxy Conjunction tonight. I really want to buy a telescope and I want to use it for planets and maybe nebulae or galaxies. And maybe mount a DSLR for some photos. What should I choose? First, don't choose the DSLR. It's my recommendation. Choose an astro camera. DSLR soon will be out of date. If they are not already. And they are super heavy and... Choose the... The, the, sp the, the SLR make me think for astrophotography and telescopes. Make me remember the first um, smartphones. Some of you may remember the first smartphones were like a, a brick, a, more than a brick, two bricks, like that. And the people hold all that to the car and connect it to the car and they were huge. Those are the, were the first smartphones. Now we have iPhones and uh, Samsung at, at the top and Google Pixel. So they do everything. In the near future, the DSLRs will be in that place. So if you want to bet in something that is, you know, if you could tell me, well, but I have this advantage or this advantage of this, you don't have it because it's much lighter an astro camera. It's much powerful an astro camera, more sensitive, more everything. The quantum efficiency, everything is is designed for astrophotography. So you buy once, you cry once, as you teach me. Do you have a way to attach that refractor to that tabletop? That's the amount we need, we go to. That's what I'm going to do right now. And that's the beauty of it. Look, this comes with a, very nice, it comes like this, in a box. A case, which is will be excellent and then inside we have this like this see this is exactly what came well I took off the caps and the plastic protections and so on only this this cap I leave it and everything it's like this and this cap here this has a two-inch aperture of uh, focuser. It's very nice. Okay, a double speed focuser. This is a double speed. Very nice also, very good focuser. And it has already this dovetail. This is a Vixen style dovetail, which is exactly what I have behind me in the virtual. So the only thing I will do now, I will test it, it's the first time. I will do it with you. And I will leave it prepared for uh, another live stream. The first, the only thing that I have to do is to take off the virtuoso. You will see how easy it is. I, I have it on my mind. I didn't do it, but I have it on my mind. It's only to detach the, 
the tube of the Virtuoso and place it anywhere, it's small, it's collapsible, and then attach this in the same way. You will see now. So this is a, a very nice, uh, with foam inside, it's like the, um, the IPCs cases, you see? With a key, it has a key. It's very nice for me to store it, but I want it to, to place like this somewhere here behind me for you to see during the live streams, <laughs> you see? Now, let me see how I can do it. But the case, it's a very nice feature. And it's included, it comes with a case, protected, well protected, very nice. Now. I will take off the headphones and I will push the Virtuoso here in front of the camera and change for the refractor. We'll see if it works. This is first it, uh, this is the, I will not use the refractor with the camera now and anything. That's for the, the next live stream. But I will prepare everything to get uh, ready. If anybody knows here, about the back focus, I don't know if it's just to... I, have, I will use the 294 camera, this camera, with this refractor. Well, I can trial and error and test it, but if you know already, it will help me. This is the camera I will use. I will use it with spacers to fit inside the focuser, with one spacer only, to get stronger and a better fit. And if anybody knows, with your refractors maybe, it's only to place the camera. Will I have to add uh, an extension or spacers? I don't know. I will try to discover. But if you know already, I go straight away for your, your indications. Hold on. Let me open. Ooh, lo loads of light. I'm waiting for uh, new headphones because I broke my one of my headphones and if somebody knocks the door I will go there the, um, the package will arrive so I take off the, the dwarf which is a very nice complement also this is also a complement but this this can be the first a first telescope for beginners also and now let's see this Now, let me give you just one, one trick for the Virtuoso owners. This is, this is the box, the original box of the Virtuoso. I give you just a, an idea for the ones that, that don't, didn't have it. It's a huge box. I like to keep those boxes because if anything happen or something, we can have, if, you, if I decide to sell, I will not. But if I decide to sell, of if I need a replacement or something from Astro Art, imagine that uh, it didn't work. I can place it in the same package and, and send it to my sponsor, great sponsor Astro Art. So what I did to organize my space was to use this box, but it's not empty. What I did was this, this box, it's the Virtuos box, it's full of other boxes. I mean, when you buy a smartphone, when you buy anything, tech, tech things mainly, things that are important for you to, to keep the, the box for any reason, for a, a return to Amazon or something. Um, I have loads of boxes until uh, some time has passed and uh, I, I just place them in the bin. But while that doesn't happen and while they have the guarantee, I have all of them inside. So this box of the Virtuos, it's full of uh, stupid boxes from tech stuff that I buy. And uh, for instance, now like that I will receive the new headphones, I will place the box inside, no, not in this one because it's full, but I may place it anywhere. And then when I have enough boxes, recent boxes, I replace for older ones here and they go to the trash. So it's a way that you can use this to store your Virtuoso, if you want to keep the box, of, of course, and uh, put things inside that you will not need to be always open. And it gets, it gets uh, 
stronger, of course. Now, let's see how I can do this. Okay, so let's unscrew these, release a bit. And now we have here the, the dovetail attach it and we just have to unscrew this what i did another hint i don't know if i did no but i will do right now is to mark with a marker the position that i have because this is balanced it's in the right position you can move this up and down this is balanced it's in the right position to hold my zwo camera and the usual stuff so i will mark because when i want to change it again for the Virtuoso, I have already the marks there and it will be much easier and I will not have to be balancing everything, you see. It's a, a, a good way to... I, I have the markers and I will do like this with a, maybe the red one, because this is green, and I will just do like this. A bar here. And another one here, you see? Let me place it closer. This doesn't hurt the telescope at all, of course. This is all metal, plastic. And like this, the next time I change, I know it. And I will do later the same for the refractor after I use heat, of course. marker and now this is very important to when you do this work this job of releasing this and balance it's very important always to grab very well the telescope because this will fall the, at, uh, at the moment that I release this this will tend to fall so it's very important to have it and I expect don't have it to fall in a live stream because this is live and anything can happen but i will be careful so i can collapse it well actually i will not because this is already in the position i will leave it like this it doesn't matter and i will take it off My hand is, uh, you can see, my hand is like this, you see, behind, below the telescope, because when I release, I, I can grab it. Okay. See, it tends to fall. This is, is light. And now what I will do is to grab the refractor and just place it here and screw. I will place it at the middle because I don't know the balance that will be needed. Okay very well another tip i have here like a strap a small strap Hold on. here a small strap that i use i do that in all my telescopes you can't see because the telescope it's outside and it's dark but i do that with all my telescopes the usb cable that came from the camera the, the only uh, cable that I use, I attach it here to do like this to the camera. Like that, it will take off the strength uh, of the gravity that pulls down the, the cable and sometimes tends to 
at least try to to get off the, the camera. And like this, it will not force the USB connection in a camera because it will do like an arc, you see? Okay, this is, you see how it looks? Now, I will not balance it because I, I don't know the balance. Now, what, what I found when I received it and it was done from me, was that I forgot to ask, and uh, my sponsor didn't remember also. I just told uh, to AstroArt, my great sponsor, I told them to send me just uh, the two. And I forgot that I will need a finder. So, I forgot the finder and it has, it's a, a good thing, it has a shoulder, a shoe for the finder, see, the, the regular adapter that we have in the Dobsonians also. And fortunately, I have a, a finder scope, but it's huge from, from the Dobsonians. I don't want to use it, it's too heavy, I will show you. Look, I have this, because when I upgrade it to a Rassi Finder, of course, I I, keep, I kept this. But I use this like uh, binoculars. I use this with a tripod to, to do the work of a binocular. But this is too heavy to... Look, if I place it here... Hold on. If I place it here... It will, it will work, for sure, it's not so heavy that can't work, but as I have a Rigel finder scope, I will prefer to use for, so, I will prefer to use the Rigel by far. And I had a problem. <laughs> I was grabbing my Rigel, my Rigel was dead. The Rigel is similar to the Telrad is this this one it has a a circle i prefer the telrad because the circles have a certain measurement and uh, it's it's better it's better the telrad i suggest to you to buy the telrad but it was dead and it was in a in a box let me just check the shot for a bit because i'm tired of talking <laughs> <laughs> I'm always talking. I remember you that we will live stream tonight to watch a rare conjunction, the Series and M91 Galaxy in the same field of view with a 12-inch top Sony. The King. The King is the 12-inch the top Sony. The King. The King. Yes, Bingo Bongo, you were near. It's not the 80. I, I prefer that um, I chose this, the 72. I could ask my my sponsor a better a better refractor. He will send me the a better refractor. Uh, One thousand dollar or two thousand dollars refractor. Maybe we have triplets that are already good but I wanted specifically a refractor for beginners and this is well I'm I'm doing this live stream it's not like the dwarf because with a dwarf I didn't know what to expect yet at all and I was watching some issues that now are solved for me but this is a proven telescope this is a popular telescope that many people have it's not new what is kind of new, or at least different and uh, rare, 
It's what I'm doing right now. It's uh, uh, attaching this telescope with this virtuoso mount, that Altezimut mount that I al already have, and doing live stacking. In addition to that, doing live stacking with it. That we you will not watch so much if if you any. <laughs> so that's that's my goal, and spe and specifically doing that live stack with you, sharing with you. You will not see this, at least for now. We check the chat. Well, the main difference between, Jim, the main difference between a refractor and a reflector is a reflector use, I will summarize, the reflector use mirrors and the refractor, uh, the reflector use mirrors and the refractor use lenses. This is the main reason. What, sh what telescope should I choose? Is this okay for me for a budget astro camera? Seven. I don't know that telescope. I know that brand. This is, that brand is a cheap brand. Actually, I have a, a zoom eyepiece. My first zoom eyepiece was, I don't know if it, it, it exists, it still exists. A zoom eyepiece from that brand. It's very old. And uh, it's like uh, other cheap brands. So, what I recommend is the Virtuos Telescope. Do I have videos about that? Remember to subscribe to this channel if you like this kind of, of stuff and also videos about those matters. To local, I recall a 58mm spacer, not sure from top of my head, I'll have to go look. Remember that I'm not using, yet, a field flattener. I will use it as is. With the camera attached, I will test it like that. Maybe in the future, I will have a field flatter. But remember that I don't need that back focus of the reduction and, and those uh, materials, those gear. I learned everything about back focus recently. If you don't have a field flattener, you won't need a spacer. Ah, okay. That's it, Marco. Thank you. You, your focus travel will be enough, it depends how you attach the camera actually. I will attach it actually, well, I will not attach it right now, because it's a, it's already in the, no, it's not in the king, so I, I can attach it, hold on. It's in the 18-inch, it's still there, I will take it. I will place the cap to the 8 inch focuser. See the camera with the Nexus. This will be for tonight, but I will try. So I will use it, well, I will not detach the Nexus because it's already there, but I will use it like this. I will take... Now I, I opened this and it was a, a one and a quarter. <laughs> no, it's not because it's, it has a cap. Yeah, it's two inch. There's no compression rings, which is... I'm not used to that, but it's okay. Because if I, I can use an extension, I have a very nice extension, uh, but I will not. I will use the extension that I have, a great extension, when I have, uh, when I have a, a field flattener. I will use it like this. Well, this is with an Exuja, I will not take it off, but 
I will use it like this, just like this. The next sushi is not for this. I wonder if it works. No, it will not work because the next sushi is designed for the Newtonians and it will consider the convection of the mirror of the Newtonians. And this says no, no convection mirror. You see, oh, this has a lot of space. Uh, it stops. Ah, no, it stopped because I have here uh, a tape in the Nexus to counteract the, the screws to avoid the tilt in the Newtonian. It has loads of space, yeah, it should be loads of space. I'm like a kid discovering the, the refractor. Ooh, loads of space. The first lens is here. So imagine all this space. It's south of the telescope. Does it have a stop? No. Doesn't need. Yes, it does. Near the lens. Very nice. Now we will place the cap because I will not use it right now and we don't want dust. Very nice telescope and look I broke the the how do you say the the tradition maybe the um, it's not raining. It's not raining. I received the telescope and it's not raining. Now, I will see where I can place the... The finder. This is open. Ah, you. I was telling you, you can imagine, you can't imagine, you won't believe what happened. This was dead, I thought. Because no light here, we turn this and it turns off the circles, the red circles. And it was dead. I changed the batteries, nothing. I checked the batteries, the old batteries and the new ones, and they were good with, uh, with current. So I opened it. At meanwhile, I bought from Amazon, I will receive next week. It's a good thing to have. I will need it for one of my tail rods because with the time, one of them in the 8 inch, I, I'm always, when I turn it on, it does, it seems dead, but I turn off and on, off and on, off and on, and the fifth attempt, it start, it, it uh, lights the LED. It's weird, but it's like that. And I believe it's some connections that are faulty. So I bought from Amazon a spray, which is for electronic, electronic connections. And I will spray it to clean this. And I thought it was that, but then I open it. And what I saw is it should be one time that it fall apart or something. This has a light here. The light comes from here to here, to the top. This is the LED light, this black thing here. It was bended to one side and then I just had to readjust the position because it was working, I saw it red and I just correct the to, to have it in front of the, the mirror that it has. It's not a mirror, it's a lens and uh, yes, it has a mirror also, a, a glass, not a mirror, a glass and then it worked with the old battery so it's solved but anyway I will do that uh, with that uh, electronic spray because I think it's good it protects from oxidation and stuff like that and they last longer the connection so I will do that because with the dew outside you see I don't like the dew at all with the dew outside of the sonians all the, um, the things the electronic things suffer a lot now I don't know where I can place this maybe 
in front. Anyone that uses or a tail rod or something like this, where should I put this? The, the finder shoe is 45 degrees like this. But I can't place this on the shoe. Where should I, I place? Tell me in the chat if you know. Yeah, I can't place it. Let me close this. No, I will not close because I will add them. Um, well, I have to close. To place it. Okay. Then I open it again. See, it's only... To open the, the rigel, it's only to take this off, this part. Where should I put it? Bye, Kozar. See you later in the live stream. That's another thing we were discussing on Discord, to see if you can avoid using flattener for live stacking with this refractor. Yes, I will try first that. I don't know. It's not raining because you are not going to actually use it now. <laughs> That's why. The, the night I will use it, oh sorry, I can't live stream because it's raining. It can be. I like the Rigel over the tail rod because I can make the circles blink. Yes, it, it, it has that. I don't like that feature. I don't use it. Here, he's talking about this. This this button of the Rigel is to the intensity of the, the, the circles, the red circles. And this one here, the white one, small one, if you turn it all anti-clockwise, as I have, it's fixed, the image, the circles. It's like that, like the tower. But if you turn this clockwise, it will start blinking. For some people, it's easier blinking, it's easier to, to watch the, the objects and like that. I don't like, I don't know why, it's uh, personal. I it mess with my eye. I have certain, like everybody, some, some people has things, personal things that don't like. But that's one of them. <laughs> but uh, where do I attach it? For the finder you could attach a bar on the top of the ring clamps. Uh, then you could attach anything on the bar. For the finder you could attach a bar. What bar? Ah, here! But here it's at the, to the left. Is this this is to attach to a tripod, I think, or to attach something, a camera or something. He says something here. Look, with that uh, regular standard connection for the cameras and everything, holders. Where should I place the, the Rigel? I have here the bases. The Rigel has two bases. And the stickers, I will place the sticker. They have two bases. One for larger dobs. See, two bases. One, like this. And another one is thinner. Well, it's short. I don't know what uh, the one that... Well, I can do it like this. Yes, it's it's the larger one here. Where do I I place the finder? Do you know? The top of the ring clamps. Ah, oh, it has another connection here, a hole with a. But the the fine yes, this has a, a hole also. But it's not the same size. Well, I can open it. Or do like this. But then I will have to... To turn... Well, this will be at the ground. Anyway. Can do like this at the middle. 
or I can do I can place it here I don't know what is this for in the ring clamps There should be a way to put it where the finder shoe is. Yeah. But it's too large. If I do like this, it will be the best way to do it. It's too large, the, the rigel. I have to always use this. This base, the base. See, this has glue here. It was in my refractor, the, the power seeker. You could attach a bar on the top of the ring clamps. That rigel should that come with an extra mount that you can tape to the tube. I've put it that center, not on the side. Yes, I think that center is better because it will be upper. I don't know very well what to do. Not on the side, yes. I agree, if not on the shoe, Put it in center of mass. Well, it's that's a good advice. The center of mass will be more or less like here. Yeah, I can, and it it fits here. This base fits very well here. Uh, it seems like made for this. Look, see, and it will not hurt any movement. If I have to mess with the clamps or to take it off, the, the rigel can stay. It's better than here. Here I, I will place the, the sticker. And here, as you well said, the, the center of mass. Although this is not heavy, but it's a, a weight. I agree, if not on the shoe, but in the center of mine. I have a question. Can you see Jupiter details? Even if it's a tiny dot on my 6-inch Dobson and Telescope using the Super 10 lens it comes with. Well, yes, you can. But what I recommend you with a 6-inch is to double that. Use a Barlow to transform a 2x Barlow to transform those 10, those 10, millimeters in five what i usually do to watch planets with a virtuoso is i use the 25 but with a 5x barlow i try that because my 5x barlow is has better quality it's from la Cirta. this barlow has more quality you see la Cirta. it's 5x this has more quality than the cheap barlows that i use they are fine, but they are cheap, the cheap Barlow's that I usually use with uh, the Virtuos, the 6 inch. So, and uh, I have a good 25 millimeters plus, lossal. So I attach the 25 with the 5x uh, Barlow, so 5 by 5, 25. So it will be 5 millimeters. 25 dividing by 5, it will be, it will give you 5 millimeters, uh, 5 millimeters eyepiece. 5 millimeters, 4 millimeters, it's the sweet spot. I think it's a sweet spot for the virtuoso. Maybe 5, because of the seeing, it, it will depend on your location. Sometimes I can push a bit more, but I don't have uh, eyepieces to do that yet. Those connections on the ring clamps are for piggyback cameras and accessories. Mm -hmm. Okay. To guide. Guess the hole is got attaching a DSLR, maybe. I believe it's for attaching things like a bar. You fix the bar with the M3 screws, I believe. It makes sense. You will have to unscrew the existing screw. Ah, yeah. Unscrew this, maybe. And I had, well, this is a, a, a locking knob. This is to lock. But it will be on the side. But this doesn't have, well, I can 
find a but I think that this thing at the middle will be higher. The difference will be like doing like this or doing like this. And with this on the ground, which is where I use, I will lay on the ground, <laughs> literally. And uh, it will be easier for my neck, I think, here. Quasar gift five Dobson and Power memberships. Thank you, Quasar. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for the support. We are getting more and more members. That's very nice. And it's only 99 cents a month. So if you want to support this work and this channel, I appreciate a lot. Thank you very much, Baza. So it was Rita Castillo, Marcos Nidar. Ah, Rita, you was here. You are very quiet. Sean Christie, Astro Womble, RC Dab. Okay, thank you, Quasar. Okay, thank you for the advice. I seem to have forgot you probably live somewhere. Not in the US, so my comments are most likely delayed. Thank you for the least advice. Remember that you, that all of you that are here in the chat, that to receive memberships, you have to opt in. I will place the link. I have here the link. If you opt in, then the next time, I think it, it it's forever. I will place the link. Well, I, you should have the link there. Refractor power, <laughs> no, Brian. Well, you can tell you can uh, tell this is a Dobsonian. It's a mix. Where is it? It's here. Okay, this is the link. <clears throat> Actually, to me, that, uh, now that you talk, this still is a, a refractor. It's a, a different... It's different, a Newtonian over a Dobsonian mount, because you go to the... That's the, the best thing to... The way the best way to think about it is, when you go to a store, how do you ask for that, that telescope? You don't ask, I need a Newtonian over a Dobsonian uh, mount. You ask, look, I want a Dobsonian telescope. And they have a list of Dobsonian, which are Newtonians or reflectors over a uh, Dobsonian mount. But they are called Dobsonian telescopes. And that's like that. Every star on the world use that standard definition or accept it. You don't ask for a, a Dobsonian thinking in a refractor because a refractor has another purpose. So this, to me, to me, this will always be a refractor, although it's over uh, a Dobsonian mount. It's also a, an altezimuth mount. So this is a refractor that can be in a, this altezimuth mount. Also another altezimuth mount that can be also equatorial mount. They have the, that functionality. So this is for me, this is a refractor period. And nothing will replace the Dobsonian power. <laughs> White field power, uh, it's more like that. Is that the go-to mount that came with the Virtuos? Yes, it is, Antonio Cortez. What type of telescope do you recommend? Refractor or reflector? You may already stated this. I was gone. I, I recommend this. Then you watch the replay if you want. And you have videos on my channel. The best beginner telescope, in my opinion, for many reasons, it's this one. Six inch Virtuoso telescope with GoTo. Don't buy that one without GoTo. With GoTo, to take pictures, everything. If you go to my channel, you have a, a playlist about that, only for that telescope. And also loads of live streams where I, you can see in real time what I do and the time it takes to, to place it, to store it. 
with that beautiful telescope. Now, the Rigo. No more opinions about the Rigo, I think I will place it right here. Okay, I will have to find the, the tape for this, so I will do that later. That decision is made. And now, yes, and it will be nice because the pictures will be like this, of this telescope. Will be like this. Let me change the position. beautiful the telescope 400 bucks actually I have already here actually the price of this telescope in my sponsor which I got this telescope from it's 40 419 um, euros right now this is for Europe and I have here the links to Amazon and also to iPoint Scientific but the best price for Americans it's on Amazon it's not on iPoint Scientific it's 449 so you see that it's it's a 400 bucks or 500 bucks telescope. What is the weight capacity of that mount? As far as far as I remember, but I think it's too much. Skywatcher said 11 pounds, but I think it's too much. 11 pounds. I don't know. But they, they said it was 11 pounds. How much is that in kilograms? Of course, they are from the United States. They say in pounds. 5 kilograms. 5 kilograms. So, to 5 kilograms and this how much, how much this weight? Hold on. Let's see. Maybe here. Let's see if they can do that. Optional 0 0.85 85 Focal reducer and fill flattener. Let me check how much. A hey, 279 euros. It's more than a half of the telescope itself. We will be using without it for now. This weight one and a half kilograms. So we, as you can see, about uh, three pounds maybe, or more or less. So as you can see, it's not too much. For the 11, the 11 pounds that they claim, it's not too much. And on Europe, you have, of course, Astroart Finland. And if you will buy something from Europe, always check them. It's my sponsor, of course, but they have good ship pr shipping prices and good prices of the, the stuff. And of course, although this is a, a refractor, I will place this, you can buy things like this on my store, I bought from my store, there I have to, bought, to buy. On my store, which links you have on dobsodinpower.com, you have the merch stores for United States and for Europe, United Kingdom and all over the world. It's a very, very reliable store. You can buy without any problems. 
That's why I, I deal with them. And we have stickers also there. And I will add the sticker here, of course, Dobsonian Power. Although it's the refractor, the channel is Dobsonian Power. So we have two. It's like when we do with the boats with the champagne in the, the new <laughs> the new boats. Well, I place a sticker. You can buy stuff there and you help to support the channel. And they have good stuff. I buy things from them. What's on there? <laughs> a refractor. The first time you see a refractor named as Dobsonian. <laughs> Dobsonian power. And now, in the other side, let me see if I have it. Hold on. Let me see if I have it. I have it. This I bought from Amazon also. It's the second time I buy this. I have it on my Dobson. I have it on my Dobsonians. Those uh, planets that you see, I think I have it here. Look, this is... You see the 8? And uh, I think it's Neptune. The sticker and here I have Saturn look how, how pretty good it is with the same colors and I will do the same here because I have here oh. <laughs> this is nice I can place those huge ones but I can place a, a small one let me see this side oh this is too much I think I have more yes I have oh I have Mars oh. the other side of the Sun Saturn the Earth and Mars. I think I will place Mars because it has a, a good... Yes, it's Mars. Or Mercury. No, it's Mercury. No, but Mercury should be this one. I think Mercury. Mars should be, can be duplicated also. Mars should be this. And this one, Neptune, the blue one is Neptune. Ah, maybe I have in the, um, in the 8-ish, the other one, maybe it's Uranus. This one is bluish. Yeah, this one, maybe Mercury. 
this one near the sun but the other one this should be because of the colors you see or Pluto no Pluto they they don't consider now maybe it's Mercury ah and another sticker that of course I have to place it here first this one will be the Astro Art one and then the pile excited for your first pictures with it I was wondering if you really need that feel flatter or if it's fine without it guess you will be able to tell soon yes I'm curious about it I really don't know I really don't know about that But I, I'm curious about it. Now let me cut the sticker. I bought these stickers on Amazon also. I, bought, I buy loads of stuff in Amazon. On Amazon. For home. This one's from AstroArt. This, this was made by me. Well, I... I, I bought from Amazon. Now here it's not good. Mm -hmm. Warning. Connect this here it says connect 360 camera adapter. Here at the bottom. Let me take this off. I'm not here. It says connect 360 degrees, I think, camera adapter. This will be like this on the live stream. So it will be I don't want to mix with this though somehow. Yes, it, it's good. Astro Art. This is the warning of the sun and that stuff. Fully multi-coated optics. Made in China. Aesthetical part. Now we the later not now I will place the rigel because I have to find tape to do it. Oh they have tape here. In the box of the top the, the rigel I think. But maybe I used already. Let me check. Yeah. I don't have tape. I'll have to Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I will place, like, as I will place the Rigel here, like this, I will do a very nice trick that I did with the Rigel in my old refractor, the, the power sticker. It will be to place this, which is very important, and for the Telrad also it helps, if you don't have the, the right... I'll do like this. I don't like very much the connections of the, the Rigel. I'm sorry, but the Telrad it's much better. It's ugly. It's not so pretty. But it's much reliable. Okay. This is with the base. And the, uh, the stickers will be here, not... Well, I have it here also. But uh, what I will do... Like this. It will be like this. 
what I will do is to pass two bands to um, what's the name of it to clamps those clamps that we use plastic clamps that we use in the garden and I will place it here let me see if I have them here well but I anyway I will clean this later you see it's full of debris because I tried before I tried to attach this in the virtuoso it was possible a bit too jerky but it was possible with loads of clamps but then I found it was dead and I thought it was dead then I fixed it and now I, I give up I gave up from the virtuoso with this it's okay with a red dot finder and uh, as I have this new telescope I will use it like this although I think I will not need any finder to polar align this because to find polaris with this will be very easy because it's a wide field and the red dot finder I could take it off from virtuoso and place here on the shoe for sure well I don't know maybe I, I do it like this and keep it simple because this on the virtuoso it's much more important I will think about it. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Now I'm streaming, I'm not thinking very well, but... Because the finder... But the finder has a different shoe in the virtuos. Oh, but I can find a way, I don't know. But this on the Virtuos, it's not easy to... At least at the top, I have to put it down also. We'll see, we'll see. Hello from Greece! Hello Greece! How are you? Greetings! Afternoon in Greece! Sociedad Astronomica de Panuco. Hi there! I've been watching your reviews on the Dwarf 2. Did you think it's a good entry option for beginners? You know budget and getting experience, thanks a lot. Yes, I think. Yes, I think, but remember that you will not have visual observation. So for beginners, if you want a real telescope, I recommend the Virtuoso. The thing is, with this Virtuoso, you will have, you will get a, a real telescope professional with good views for visual but to do astrophotography or live stacking you will need to buy a camera so this is a 400 bucks telescope as is with go to very nice but to do astrophotography you will need to buy a camera because with a smartphone it's not very nice it's possible but it's only for some a few objects and it's not very handy the dwarf the dwarf it's excellent and it's on, on uh, at a discount you see it 395 alexa para 395 and um, the dwarf it's excellent by its portability to take pictures however you can't do any visual with it it has no eyepiece of course it's a different kind of astrophotography live stacking i use it for live stacking it's very handy you place it and go and also it's not good for planets it's not impossible but it's not good for planets however the Virtuoso telescope, it's very good for planets. The dwarf, it's like this. Look, this is very handy. You can place it on the bag and go. Without anything, accessories, nothing. You don't need a tripod. Actually, the tripod that comes with the dwarf, I don't like it at all. I prefer to use it as is. You don't need any filter unless you are going to watch the sun or you live under heavy light pollution 
and as is. You take it with you and, and go. Now, the sticker. I want this prepared for the, li the, the next live stream with it. Yeah, this should be Mars. Mars. Jupiter is too too large. For this. Too large. Mercury could be. Neptune. I don't know which planets are these. Venus. Venus, one of these. Maybe this one, Venus, and this one. It has two moons, could be Mars. Mars has two moons, no? Two moons only. So many things. Mars has two moons, Phobos and Deimos. This is Mars. And if this is Mars... If this is Mars, this one is Venus because it has no moons. And the small one, this could be Pluto. Because the other small one could be Mercury. I will place Mars here. A bit large, but I will place Mars. Go to Mars. Ah, and this refractor will not be, of course, as a Dobsonian to planets. <laughs> no way. Let me see if it gets well. It's a bit large. This is vinyl, so I can... not proportional. I'll place it in another in another place, Mars. I'll place Mercury. Mercury. The proportion is Mercury on fire. Okay. So remember, last uh, tonight, in about about five or six hours, I may. Enter a bit earlier because I will show you and I will show you the field of view now. It's important. Now let's see the field of view. We will have Ceres, the conjunction with Ceres, the planet, the dwarf planet Ceres and M91 galaxy, which is a beautiful galaxy. I will show you. This will be great to watch. Epic, actually. Let's see it in Stellarium. Now it's half past 4 p.m. here. So we will place it on. T 
10 p 10 half past 10 is the live stream half past 9 it will be at 26 but without moon after dinner i i will try to get earlier because of the moon of course although it's still low you see let me see this is tonight we will have 294 mc color the nexus and the 12 inch it fits perfectly you see with the nexus the galaxy here m91 and series the, the dwarf planet i had to update the the database because it was wrong i don't know why the position of the planet so this will be epic i will use i will not use a barlow because this is so small and we want to capture a good image of the galaxy at the same time so maybe around 10 if i'm already if i already had my dinner but it's on half past 10 the, the night live stream Hello, Steve. Hey, Jello man. Frankenscope. I thought that. <laughs> I thought that also. Frankenscope. I remember that from Linux. Stargazing with a telescope is actually pretty good if you live on the west coast. You can drive like one, two hours to a zero light pollution zone. Then you will need a lighter telescope or it's convenient. East coast, you will have to drive three, four hours. Yes, this is not really a sticker. This is a vinyl. It's like transparent. It's like transparent. It's to give a personal touch to do. I like. Well, as long as it's within limits. I will not place here. Uh, like we have in the Christmas trees. <laughs> a telescope. Oh, you are working, of course. Hello, hello. We see you later. That's a good goal for the dwarf. Getting it together, a group of kids and people to screen share the views of Nebula and that kind of stuff. Thanks again for your answer. That's the, the, the way to go. Very good for that. Although, as I said, they will not have the pleasure and it lacks the pleasure of the visual observation. I still haven't seen series. The moon is too bright. Well, it's a challenge. I don't know if we will fail or succeed tonight. It will be a challenge. Actually, I think it's the first time I will point to series here in the live stream. Hi, Brian. Of course, subscribe to the channel. It's free and you will get free value content. Of course, it's right there. Now, let's see the field of view. <clears throat> you go here. This, this will be good for any telescope and forever. It's a tool that you, it's a must-have tool, and uh, on uh, at end. You go here to my website, it's easier. You go to dobsonandpower.com. Here you have my connections to the social networks and the links to all my gear with videos, related videos, for you to, to know if you need stuff that I have. See? But here you have almost all my gear, collimation tool, everything. And then you have here a tab that says free resources. You click here and this is all for free. 
This is all free resources that I use a lot and I think they are very important. So you come here, down here, and you click on... Oh, it's right at the top, right the first one, Astronomy Tools. This opens a website, astronomy.tools, like this, field of view. <clears throat> Visual mode, imaging mode, as I will want to know the camera and compare the camera with the different telescopes, I click on imaging mode. Otherwise, it will be for eyepieces, different eyepieces and telescopes. You have to custom the camera here. You go here. What a, a silly thing I did. You go, come down here. In my case, it's a ZWO. Of course, 294 MC. It's the Pro, but it's the same thing. I have the uncooled version. Now this will be different. So, 12 inch Dobsonian, again, 300, without any reducer. Thank you, thank you for the warning. Okay, let's do it like this. The play of this. Ah, okay. Uh, I was sure that I could... Yes, with a 12 inch you can grab three of the seven sisters. Okay, fine. Yes, it fits what I did. <laughs> Actually, with uh, the 8 inch and the Nexus we can almost have it all. This is with the 8 inch. A bit more. And the arc second per pixel is dot sixty eight, so we are oversampling. If I had the reducer, this will be closer to the one, and that's what we want. Now the six inch, it's seven hundred and fifty focal length and one hundred and fifty. Add to view. Yes, the the six inch can grab almost all of the well it can, it can grab the seven sisters and cuts a bit of the nebulosity now let's see and it is 0, 0 0.77 arc second per pixels it's still oversampling but not so much and now we want to uh, i'm curious about so 420 focal length 72 aperture Bam. You see the wider field of view. Now it's wide, 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 wide. Let me see the arc second per pixel. It's the same. 1.61. It's almost the same. So it's fine. It's fine. But you can you see the larger field of view it is comparing to the others. The blue is the 12 inch, the yellow is the 8 inch, the white is the 6 inch virtuoso. And this one, well, actually in this case, maybe the, um, the Virtuoso beats the Refractor. I think that we should check in the future. We will compare because this 6 inch can grab pre almost all the Pleiades. Let me see the Lagoon now. Leo triplet, let me see if they... Yes, the Leo triplet, for instance. It's, well, the 6 inch also... The 6 inch is very versatile. The 6 inch also can grab the Leo triplet. And the Lagoon. Now try and drum, okay. M31. Yeah, the Andromeda, it's, it's the one. Yeah, you see? That's a good a good example. Jalloman. Or North America, of course. Resolution pixel. Yes, the resolution, it's fine now. It's the... They place automatically the resolution for the camera. And it's the, the same camera. Now it's the, the right camera. Look at this. The Andromeda... With this refractor, 
we can capture all or almost the entromde while well actually this side the, uh, this part of the arms we don't have the the resolution power with life stacking to to grab it i think we will test it i have already an andromeda i think with a virtuoso where is it andromeda see not enough power to grab these sides these sides here they, they are fainter the outer arms of the the galaxy the andromeda and this was with the um, focal reducer because it's at the edges it's warp the image it was larger than what it should be the field of view but even with a focal reducer well we could get the detail this this was not very well tracked the stars were moved all to the same direction it's, it was a tracking or something I did wrong we will rep repeat next year we have time while we are alive at least we have loads of stuff to watch in real time so this will be a, a nice one but now Andromeda is almost gone so we will have um, play of this also I remember the the Leo triplet and I'm curious about using this telescope to watch the faint galaxies in Virgo constellation also where we will point towards tonight because tonight we will be watching series This will not be tonight. But you see, Virgo is starting now with the galaxy season starting. It will start to pop at the time of, of my live streams at the evening. And um, I'm curious about. I will have to add it. This is very simple to add the, the telescope here. You come here to this tool, telescopes, and then you add here. Um, down here head my telescope i will change for ed 72 change focal length you change here for 420 and here 72 see how to head a telescope in solarium and that's it now here when i play click here on the camera icon this will be tonight beautiful i can change here the telescope this is the ed oh let me go there and and check this uh, horizontal flip vertical flip and equatorial mount if you, we uncheck we have this like i want in horizontal mode always you see much larger but look there's clusters of galaxies here look the Virgo Virgo galaxy here I think it's a good test for the power of this telescope the refractor in this group of galaxies as a white field nothing like a Dobsonian but it will be funny. Oh, this is with the Nexus. Without anything, it's like this. Okay. But now I will add the Nexus because tonight I want to be prepared for the 12 inch, the King. This will be tonight. Look. And there's more galaxies. Look. Prepare for tonight. We have. Oh, it's not here. It's not in Virgo. It's 
series, series. This will be tonight. We have M91, which is beautiful here at the top. We have Ceres, the Dwarf Planet, and we still have a small galaxy here with 15 magnitude. And also at the bottom, another one with 11 magnitude. And here another one with... Oh, this one will be almost impossible. 18 magnitude. One, two, three, three galaxies, four galaxies, and a, a Dwarf Planet. We'll see tonight. We'll see tonight. Do we get to see the galaxy's hole? You make a photo of Ceres hole? When? Do we get to see the galaxies when you make the photo of Ceres? Yes, because I will use the king. The king. The king. Anybody familiar with the 6-inch F9 Richard Cretch Stratian? Don't buy that. Don't buy that. Look at the focal length, F9. Don't buy that, Antonio Cortez. Buy a Newtonian. A fast Newtonian, if possible. Faster the better. Hey, can you photograph a red dwarf and see its color? Yes with the, the, the Dobsonian. I really want to see a red dwarf. You still have the Nexus selected. Yes, I, I took it off already. Uh, thank you. <laughs> you are always uh, um, paying attention to everything and it's good because sometimes I mess it up. It's a, a live stream. Do we get to see the galaxies? Okay. While a grammar mistake. Yeah, those mistakes, we can be tolerant about that. So this is the telescope. It will be here like this. Actually, I will place it now.
Mix stop it. Yes, I touch it. Now it's okay. When I touch here, F4 Newtonian with a 2 inch focuser. It's much, of course, with an Exus. Ooh. Oof. <laughs> and you, you asking about a, a rich a Shretien? Those telescopes, no, it's not not comparing. It's nothing comparing with a, a Newton. It's much better. Sound. <laughs> Sorry about it. I touched inadvertently. I touch here. I left to you without the music. See these boxes? I place them inside the the it was a box. I will try right now. I'll do it anyway because this is. I broke my. I broke my. one of my headphones. And I had to buy ones, and now I will use the best ones here with you. Unboxing uh, headphones in an uh, astronomy channel. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, quality. You see, I spend the, the money that supports the channel. It's to spend wisely. 99 cents a month to be a member. This was expensive. Let me see if it works. Yes, it works. Yes, it works. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. You see where I spend the money? Things like this. This. Lights. The share. Not telescopes because I have a sponsor, but uh, it's things to improve all the everything to deliver you better better um, live streams and videos the voice are you listening to me let me check let me check yes everything is all right yes it's working plug and play plug and play I love love the the tech that it's plug and play. Everything is alright. Okay. The cable went moving. This no, it was this this te this telescope. This microphone. If I do this, it turns off the light and the sound. It moves. And sometimes I touch, and it happens. Well, thin clouds. Let me check the weather. Let me check the weather here for tonight. I am so excited to... I don't know if <laughs> I will fail, remember that. But uh, to capture a dwarf planet... It's, this channel is unique, come on. Come on. This channel is unique. Live stream, real time. The, the Dwarf Planet series with the M91 Galaxy all planned to give you that entertainment and connection with the sky. With nice music behind. With a good mood. 
I can be whatever, but I, I, I'm positive, and that, it's good. It's awful the weather. Well, not awful. You see, it's, it's weird. Look, next week we'll be fine here. Look at the temperatures. Tomorrow, 22, 23, all centi uh, Celsius. It's spring. Spring is is coming. The galaxy season is coming. We will have so much fun in the future live streams with the uh, with the 12 inch Dobsonian capturing galaxies and the others also let me check tonight a few clouds see clouds let me check uh, yeah thin clouds let me see the movement yeah these thin clouds are disappearing oh i just hope this huge Continent of clouds. Stay there. Stay there. Only thin clouds here. Okay, it will be funny. And they have also here, I want to show you because I, I always always forgot. Always forget this. They have here look, this site. Uh, seeing. You click on seeing for tonight. Ah, it will be the. They have the moon here, ninety-two percent. Well, right now. And tonight here will be around this. And let me see. Oh, the arc second is awful. <laughs> you see what I was talking about? 2.63. I'm aimed to almost one. You see the difference? This affects that work that we have to do with the camera and matching the telescope. This is the thing. What is this gray? I will start to get used to this. Ah, the clouds. Low, mid, height. Okay. 55 watt. What is the measure? I don't know. Then they have here the arc second per pixel. The scene. Arc second per pixel. And then the arc second. And then index. I don't know what it is. Index. Do you know what it is? The index? The ones that like this stuff? Index. One or two? No idea. I have the qu a question. What's the highest magnitude object you saw in a photo of yours while doing astrophotography and how much was it? Um, let me see if this one... Actually, I will prepare a video. I captured it last year, but this year I will do magic with the Dobsonian. With that, I don't know if it's even here. Mm, yes, it is. Why it doesn't have the magnitude? I don't want to tell you the object to not to spoil it. Hold on. Because I have a video to It's magic, it's magic. You will not see that video from any other regular channel. Uh, 16.2 apparent magnitude. Okay, at least 16.2. I could get, but what's the magnitude of Pluto? We saw Pluto here. Pluto magnitude. We saw Pluto here. Live. 16.3 the maximum. Yes, between 14 and 16.4.3. Yeah. I think I can tell you for sure that 16. 
I can grab it with a 12 inch top sonnet. But I think I could go further than that because I saw some. But it will be galaxies, faint galaxies, you know. Usually you we watch them in the, my live streams in the background of the main object. Like tonight. Tonight we will see Ceres, the dwarf planet. I hope. The galaxy, because the scene here is too... It's awful. The M91, it's a huge galaxy. And uh, with low magnitude. And um, two or three more galaxies. One of them has 18. Well, tonight you will have the answer. If I can go to, well, it's not a, a good night because of the thing, but I will show you. Because tonight, remember that tonight we will be live streaming a very rare and exotic live stream with series here. And... Uh, series tonight will be series and this galaxy okay and then we have a small one with 14 mag magnitude 15 15 magnitude another one here with 11 okay this one is easier and this one come on with 18 remember this this one my telescope will be like this, the image. Well, more like this. Sentry. At the right, we will try to confirm if we can watch an 18 magnitude object with a 12 inch top sonium telescope. It's so small and faint that they don't even have a draw here of the galaxy. Thirty-five, twenty-four. Let's see. <laughs> Images. Eighteen. Eighteen magnitude. Let's do like this. Galaxy. A Russian here? Let's see the instrument it used. He used. 3524 galaxy in Leo Leonis lenticular galaxy that's the instrument this is from NASA <laughs> so we will be competing with NASA let's see another one this is from NASA not from Russia I think nothing nothing here nothing no no way yes here uh, sky live this is a software it's not a real time image i guess we will have to check by ourselves and it will be tonight galaxy season let's go <laughs> Yes, the huge clouds are for the, the new refractor. <laughs> 18 magnitude one seems interesting, who knows, maybe. We will see its shape, even if not likely. Galaxy hoping. Dumb guy, I'm late. No, you aren't, because it will be tonight. Bad news, I found an image and the 18 magnitude seems to be a faint irregular galaxy. No worries, we, he will bring the king. 
Of course, tonight we'll be with the king. The king. The king. <laughs> so nobody knows what is this index about. One, two. I like to understand the jet stream. They have the jet stream. Jet stream will be 30 meters per second. And bot kilometers top bad layers bad layers i will try to learn this to to read this i will try to learn how to properly read all of this data to use it on my benefit and by consequence your benefit because it will be useful for the live streams Kilometers per hour. Temperature will be 16 hot. Well, not hot, but ah, that's the problem here. The relative humidity on the ground. This will be the challenge. Of course, yesterday was awful. 75. 75 of percent of humidity. So I will have to use the blanket from my last video. And these letters I don't know. Celestial bodies. What is this? Ah. You over the mouse over this gives you no it's not this the hour. The hour is twenty-two. Okay. Interesting. Moon, azimuth altitude, right ascension, declination, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. Ah, it's the planets and the moon. They give us a list of the position of those objects. Interesting. From this we can watch right away the altitude here. And see that at the hour of my live stream, the moon will be at 4 degrees altitude, which will not be so, so high. It's good. Venus and Mercury are with negative numbers, so they will be below the ground. Mars 47, good position, but at west. Jupiter is down, Saturn is down, gone. Uranus 12. Low, Neptune is gone and Pluto is gone. You see, it's interesting this feature here of the sink in Meteor Blue. Let's see uh, the wind I saw already there. Promising night tonight. I'd like to share when Makemake passed near a galaxy. Several years ago we did a study on the EAA Cloudy Nights forum. I'll put a link in Discord. It's that because the, um, you are a, a member and the members have that um, that benefit to, to place links on Discord. Not here on, on YouTube. I can't uh, distinguish that. Or I allow or, or don't allow. And I decided not to allow because of the spam and, and all well people that come here bots and everything so on discord every member of this channel remember 99 cents a month it's not expensive it's like buy me a coffee and it helps this channel to get traction and and focus on you and you can place there the links it's an, an interesting link of we have also you can join us on discord i i i recommend a lot we have the community pictures on Discord also that we show your pictures on these live streams. Community, community pictures. pictures. You see, General Forum, it's here already. community pictures then I will do it on the live stream probably not tonight 
your telescopes where you can share your telescopes my first telescope says Danny 8 inch knob and man I can't believe how awesome and beautiful is using a telescope I remember I wanted a telescope since I was 6 and well 10 years later I finally got it you see now the important is not the distance in years of having or not a telescope but the um, consistent way consistency the consistency of the use of your telescope as you can see I'm very consistent I'm always watching the telescope so what it's what is more worthy someone in a month that have the lucky of the weather of course but uses the telescope in 30 days of the month 20 nights or someone that in a year use it twice because it's on the garage and it's oh, and it's you see excuses after excuses Oh, Cloud Media, I, this, this is a phenomena that I'm, it's very important, that I'm watching, it's a side note, but it's very important, it's for the new generations in astronomy, it's very important, very, very important. I noticed that because I have loads, I read all the comments in my YouTube channel, my focus is on you, I read all the comments, I don't do the videos and, no, I do the videos for you, and so, I read all the comments, I want to know, I delete and ban people that is only to criticize, that come only to do criticize and negativity and out of here, but most of the people don't do that. People like you I do the comments and also on Discord, with our Discord server we are, well, I don't know, maybe 200 already here, let me see. Line 22, offline, yes, almost 200 here already, already 200, the time passes. And I notice here and there, and especially on YouTube, and also on some social networks, young people, students, that, when I mean young, young that live with their parents, and they want to buy a telescope, but it's too expensive. Of course it's expensive. The, the, the one I have here it's 400 bucks and then the camera the dwarf it's the probably the the best solution in terms of price but it doesn't have the the visual component so I noticed that here and there more and more and I probably in the future it will increase it's 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 only to think about it the young people, the new generations that are students that want to buy a telescope because they are somehow attracted by astronomy as all of us were once and they have that caveat they don't have the money because they are students they live under the umbrella of the parents so they depend on the parents for the money and so they start complaining about the prices, that they, the prices, and they don't don't. Uh, they start thinking, as we were thinking and, at that age, about leaving the school because if I work, I can win money. Then they see, and I think that's a, a strong component or trigger uh, of that. They see loads of a few of small young people getting su success being gamers and youtubers and tiktokers and things like that it's a natural evolution so they think they be attracted by loads of money uh, you don't have to do nothing no no that's an exception the few gamers that you see that have succeeded on youtube or twitch or or whatever they are a company they are not like you. They are, they are not a, a, a guy that is under an umbrella of the parents. They are a company. They are a business, a huge business, with companies and brands behind, which work with them, with a team. 
it's not like me that I work alone. It's with a team of editors, of everything. And to get that place, they had luck. They are the exception. They did something that triggers something and add a shortcut to that place. You have to stick with the school. As far as I know, it, it's equal everywhere. We have the primary school for years, then the secondary school everywhere, Europe, United States, everywhere. Secondary schools, correct, correct me if I'm wrong, 12 years. You got to have at least the 12 years. That's your goal. And you don't like the, like he says here, this one, this was the last one that I saw. We are, the, the community was supporting, you have to, yes, you have to study because you will learn and so on. And he said, and nobody answered it because it's an answer that requires this that I'm doing right now. Okay, but the problem is schools don't teach interesting stuff. Let me tell you one, one thing, you're right. You're completely right, it sucks. The basics are fine, we are young, four years, primary school. When you start uh, up in, uh, leveling up, and at the middle, middle school, it's uh, the awful part, it's the worst part, it sucks. You will likely like one or two, I don't know the name, it's disciplines or something. Great, disciplines. One or two, maybe you like more geography, or maybe you like more English, or maybe you are you like more science, or maybe you like more mathematics, and you are good on that, and the rest, you then you have good good um, results on that, but then all the rest, it sucks. It sucks. All the formulas that you you start thinking, what do I need this for for my real life? I don't. I will not need this. Yes, it sucks. It has an advantage that train your brain, your mental skill to work. It trains your neurons, you see? That it's something that will your brain will get into a routine. But it's not a guarantee of a job, a good job. But if you do at least the 12 years without thinking too much, okay, I know that I have to stick with this. I have to stick with this. If you need the money, you can do like I did. I went to the university, but since I have 17 years old, I work at the same time I study. What I did was, at a, at, at a, a point that I thought, I need the money, I want to have a car, I want to have this, I want to have that, but my parents can't. So what I did was, I study at night and I work during the day. I bought my first car, an old car, I bought my first car in, in second hand, having three jobs at a time and studying at night. I had two part-time and one full-time job. During three months it was crazy. Then I stopped, I got the money for the car, I bought the car and I stick with one job just to... Keep. I was only all my life studying and working, studying and working, studying and working to overcome that, to have my things. And I went to the university. When I entered to the university, I was keep I, w I had a good job, a good, uh, a promising career, urban career in a good company, large company with a, a nice, you know, comfortable. Why I still, I I almost ended my university. I left, I left, three disciplines or something. I don't know the name, disciplines. I left those three disciplines and I thought I will build my own business. I'm not made to work for other people. I will be a uh, owner of my own business, not the others. I don't want to receive orders for, from the others. But that's where the studies were very, very, very important. You know why? Although I don't use almost nothing from what I studied, well, some, some things I use. But the most important thing was, if I fail in my business, because it, it's risky to 
have to go to your own business alone well with the, the support of my wife but you you don't have anybody else your family will not help you your friends will not help you if you fail you have to pay it nobody will help you so when i went with my strength to my own business to start building a business step by step if i failed i didn't but if i failed i all always had that 12 degree, although I was in the university, I could finish the, that three disciplines to finish, to close the, univers the university cycle and have a, a good job in a company, a better job, even better, winning more, more money. So I, I had that plan B. So don't leave the school because even that you think, and you're probably right, you will not use most of the stuff that you are learning you may need that backup to back you up if anybody if other things fail in your life and if you are lucky and search for the luck as i did now i built my own empire i have my own business i don't need anybody nobody tell me what to do i decide what to do I have my financial autonomy and I look back and the, the, the university and all that stuff was a backup and that's history now I don't need it anymore but you need at least the 12 years degrees this is a message that I want to do it once and it, it's over it's for the the younger people that come to me and we like this one let's pro yay probably a gamer or something don't be eluded by the new generation stuff about gaming and everything stick with the school do whatever your parents want you to do try to manage the your parents in a good way if you move forward they will not deny you a telescope they may not they may deny you going to a discotheque or to parties or something or events, concerts or something but they will not block your willing of knowledge in science, in astronomy and stuff that's the easy part and the positive part so I just wanted to leave this message and sorry for this side message but I really think it's important and I saw you on Discord answering no no stick with the study stick with the study stick with the study <laughs> <laughs> Tiago you should do a video explaining parents why to buy a telescope to their child so childs can show the video to them yeah that's a great idea that's a great idea I may may do that because the parents can relate with us the parent usually the parents they suck the the kids because they most of them work for others they didn't get and they know that they will not get more than that and they know very well that if they leave they left the school in the middle they will lose and it's very simple you young boy it's very simple at the middle school, look at the few ones that you see leaving the school and watch their progress, watch their life, but stick with yours. Wait one year and two, one year or two, and then don't forget them. Mark them and go to see how's he doing. The guy that two years ago said to me that and left the school, I didn't see it anymore. How's he doing? What's he doing now? And remember that the job they have now will be probably the same kind of job forever. They will not, unless they are lucky, but th those are exceptions. Exceptions always exist. Don't stick, don't grab those exceptions as your, likely you have as the, all of us. The, the, the chances are that you have a life like, like all of us. We have to study, we have a better degree, 
to have uh, a better job and then you can change the path of your life easier with that backup. A cool target it's Virgo A and galaxies near it you can decide the galaxies with Solarium software. I rescinded comment because it disappeared for me. Uh, it disappeared for me. Because you are joking. You were joking. You were spamming the the chat. No, it was not you. I don't know why. Here you can place links in YouTube. If you join us on this, but you are not a member. Only members have uh, access to the links. Yeah, we will be watching the, all those galaxies in Virgo constellation. It will be very funny. And now the ones that are below the Ursa Major, they are. Oh, they are. Oh, I'm. I'm watching right now in my brain. I'm watching the future here, watching with you all those galaxies that I already watched most of them. Then the summer, then th those that Virgo constellation is full of of beautiful galaxies. And below, you're some major, and uh, we have to watch also the. That's a, a great target, the two in one. It's the the okay stick, and the whale galaxy. Let me see here if we are not missing it. I remember now. Did you get to look at the thread where Makemaki passed and Gisi? I will look after the stream, don't worry. But Makemaki, it's not now, no? Where's Makemaki? It's always good for you to call me the attention for those events. Oh, it's near Virgo. Oh, it's, it's on site already. I will do like this. 17, it's very... Look, this Makemaki, you saw, you probably don't. But if you see the live stream that I have about Pluto, capturing Pluto, it was very hard. To get a dot, small dot, but we can see Pluto. And it has a maximum of 16 magnitude. This has 17 and a half. It's I I I like challenges, but this one I will place it. Maybe we have one day a good night. I don't know. I think this one I don't want to disappoint you. We will check tonight with that magnitude, that galaxy, and you will have a, a sense of it, because the galaxy is wider. Even the fainter galaxy, like the one that we have in on site tonight, uh, with 18 magnitude, it will be a reference for this. But uh, Makemaki. I was watching the whale galaxy. Whale galaxy. Let's see where you see. It's right here. It's one of the. Uh, it's on the. It's bookmarked. It's bookmarked. Whale galaxy. And the okay stick. Now with the Nexus, we can grab it like this. And if it's flipped, the camera you can grab it easily. These are good good target for you uh, that like astrophotography it's a good target also how long will the stream be i don't know well the the tonight stream not more than one hour and a half oh actually we are <laughs> two hours and 38 minutes well 
I'll see you tonight. I will end the stream now because I, I'm lost here. I'll see you tonight. Remember, Ceres Dwarf Planet and uh, M91 Galaxy in about, about five hours from now. Okay? Thank you very much for the company, for being here and talk with me. Can I see the new telescope? Yeah, it's here. It's here, the new telescope. Look. Look. <laughs> and not raining. Well, we see what he can do. And it will be here tonight. Thank you very much and see you.